Headlines merely hint at the power of a free people to govern themselves through the country's highest legislative body, the Congress of the United States. For most of us, the real power of Congress, the power potential for self-government, is best symbolized by the gleaming dome which crowns this nation's capital. But it is more than just a symbol. It is the working seat of government where people of all races and all conditions bring the anxieties, the hopes, the aspirations all of us share for our country, for ourselves, and for our children making this a living memorial to our constant dream of a government that truly is of the people, by the people, and for the people of this land. For the next few minutes, we will be looking closely at the historic Congress and Congress as it works today. To help us, we've called on Congressman Mark Andrews, a Republican from the High Plains state of North Dakota, and Senator Thomas Eagleton, a Democrat from Missouri. For special comment, we turn to Hubert Humphrey. Mr. Humphrey is in town.